From Studio 8A, coverage you can count on in high definition. This is KOMU 8 News Today. Give A Home Depot distribution center is back under the spotlight after an accidental death. And we've got the latest on any roads still closed due to flooding. Good morning. And I'm Greg Mantell. Welcome what? back, Megan. Oh, thank you. The Highway Patrol released a report to KOMU that recounts all driving and boating accidents that happened between 6 p.m. Friday through the end of Monday. KOMU 8's Lauren Bale joins us live with more details on the accidents. Lauren? Amusement parks are known for providing thrills to people of all ages, but one famous park experienced some unplanned action in California. The nation has recently seen widespread devastation of natural disasters from the recent tornadoes in Texas and Oklahoma to flooding throughout the Midwest. President Obama and New Jersey Governor Chris Christie played tourist along the Point Pleasant boardwalk. The president met with the governor to tour the Jersey Shore and see the progress made seven months after Hurricane Sandy. He praised the strength of residents and the resilience demonstrated by the recovery efforts so far. Like you were getting a Taco Bell is putting a ring on it. The fast food chain reportedly sent eight one-of-a-kind rings to quasi-celebrities who are also social media savvy Taco Bell fans. The hope is they'll dream, drum up Taco Bell buzz. The ring recipients frequently tweet about Taco Bell and post photos of the restaurant on Instagram. And because of that, everyday Taco Bell fans want in on the bling and are requesting rings for themselves. Some say age is just a number, but it's a new perspective on aging that's behind the new AARP website, lifereimagined.org. It focuses on what the organization calls a new life stage with many people in their 50s, 60s and beyond, adding these years to the middle age stage instead of the traditional retirement. According to AARP, there are tools to make this new stage more fulfilling. There's also a private social network site called Sounding Board. With the weather warming up, snow may be the last thing on your mind, but nearly 7,000 snowboard bindings are being recalled because the straps can break. The GNU bindings come in men's, youth, and women's sizes. They were sold nationwide and online from August 2012 through March for $125 to $310. Log on to GNU.com, then click on bindings, then recall under support for more information. You know that feeling when, you get, when you're watching a scary movie oh, and your yeah. heart starts to race? Absolutely. Experts say superbugs can affect anyone no matter how healthy you are. But there's still some ways you can protect yourself. Check your hospital's infection rate ahead of time and make sure everyone who sees you washes his or her hands. New research suggests talk therapy without antidepressant drugs is a beneficial way to treat depression. Experts compared nearly 200 studies on patients who underwent one of seven types of psychotherapeutic treatments. A high school freshman discovered that tiny magnets in iPad tablets and smart covers may affect implanted heart devices. The problem comes when a person falls asleep with a tablet on their chest. 30% of patients who placed the device there had interference with their pacemaker or implantable cardiac defibrillator. A Harvard study reveals college women binge drink more often than men. Research found women were more likely to exceed the recommended weekly guidelines for alcohol consumption than men. The National Institute of Health suggests women drink no more than seven alcoholic beverages a week as opposed to 14 drinks for men. However, women tend to develop problem drinking habits at lower levels of alcohol consumption than their male peers. The right place to live can be a long, very drawn out, very complicated process. Up next, we'll show you a historic home that's launching the market for unique properties to new heights. Finding the perfect place to live can take up a lot of time, but if you're looking just looking for a place that has one bedroom, one bath, and it's good for a nuclear fallout. <laughs> one upstate New York property might be just the right fit. I don't know many people with those parameters, <laughs> but hey. Realtor says it's to flush out the real buyers from those who are just curious. As for the price of the silo, it will set you back $750,000. Chump change.